Hello, this is Bob Joyner. A couple months ago I recorded a video review of TC2000 because I've been using the software for uh, 12 years or so now. And uh, But one of the questions I got was on a portion of that video which discussed the conditional colored candles and I had some requests uh, to dig in deeper and explain how I actually set that up and how I use it. So this video is part one of a two-part video series uh, on the conditional colored candles because it's just too much information to pack into one video. So if you like the first video then you might want to keep watching the second one. So the first thing is, is before you can utilize uh, the information in this video you'll need to download the Warden TC2000 software. There's no charge if you are not a member of TC2000. There's no charge for that immediate download and there's a link in the description box below this video that gives you my affiliate link I'm an affiliate for very few products, but this is one since I'm actually a user of it and have been for over a decade now. And you'll also get a $25 coupon if you decide to sign up and stay with TC2000. Alright, what are conditional colored candles? Why use them? How do you set them up? And how can you use them? So it's going to take me two videos, like I said, to get through that, but let's go ahead and just jump into the charts here. And let's go ahead and just show you what conditional candles are and why they're pretty cool. So on the screen here is just a simple chart that I've used that uses the conditional colored candles. And the way I've done it here, this is a chart of the Euro US dollar. But what you've seen is when I click on this uh, price bar here, I actually have six different gradations of red and six different gradations of green. And those colors represent different aspects of technical analysis that I have baked into those colors. So you'll see these are just a little bit different than traditional red and green colors. They mean something to me because I've got my technical analysis baked into the colors of the candles. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start a chart from scratch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the charts. Once you have that, you'll see charts up in the top left corner. And I'm going to do a blank chart here and that just pulls up euro US dollar and we'll just stick with that for now. So the idea behind a conditional colored candle is that it allows you to bake certain indicators and crossover patterns your technical analysis into the color of the candles and the reason for doing that is for me pretty simple as when we use technical analysis in day trading or swing trading either one we can have so much on our charts that we fail to see what's actually there or we have so many, so many indicators in the charts that we can argue ourselves into just about any conclusion about which way price is going to go right I know you've done that and the problem with that is if you get so hung up on the technical analysis part is that you fail to to act when you need to act when crossover patterns occur that are high probability patterns and you fail to act you're going to be losing money okay so the idea behind the conditional colored candles is that it allows you to simplify the process to bake into the color of the candle your indicators your crossover patterns your strategy which allows you to focus just on the colors of the candles and as you trust the trading of the colors of those candles you'll probably find that you're able to take action more quickly you're more objective in your trade analysis and it's just it's easier and it's more fun okay so let's go ahead and get that set up so we've got just a basic 10 minute chart here set up and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first thing is to go up here to the price bars I'm going to edit that and we're just going to go with open versus close uh, just to give a little variation on that now what I like to do when I have uh, when I set up my conditions is the first thing I want to do is add the indicators that I want to plot into the color. Now there's different ways you can go about it. I'm going to show you the easiest way I think it has a little process to it. So for this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to look at the exponential moving average of price right and that defaults to 50. I'm going to change that over to 20 and I'm just going to color that blue right? and tighten this chart up so we can see it a little bit better here. Now what I want to do is I want to create a condition in which my candle will change color to yellow let's say when price crosses the 20 EMA. So it's a pretty standard indicator 
So the first thing I want to do is I want to create the condition that I want to plot into the color of the candle. So we start in this case I want to plot price crossing uh, above and below the 20 EMA. All right so let's go to condition. Let's create a condition on price and when price is crossing down you can see that their price is crossing down the exponential moving average I'm going to save that indicator and I'll give you a hint right now you want to start writing down your conditions as you create them because you're probably going to create quite a few so get yourself a little notepad legal pad whatever and uh, write down what your conditions are called so I'm calling this one price crossing down 20 EMA and I'm going to save that condition okay and then while I'm here I'm also going to create a condition for price crossing up so price is crossing up 20 EMA I'm going to save that as well and we're going to call it price crossing up 20 EMA now that I've saved those into my list of conditions, which means I can use them over and over again. Okay, as long as you write them down and don't forget about them. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and plot this color. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to edit that. So I'm going to edit that price. Okay, and if you go all the way down here, you have color bars and you see you can add color. So what I want to do is I want to add a condition first. And I'm going to choose the condition and I can go up here to my conditions and I can search through my indicators my conditions or I can just search right here and say price crossing down 20 EMA right there and click OK and now I can go in price history crossing down 20 EMA and what I'll do is I'm going to paint that one yellow and then I'm going to add another color and I'm going to say when it's crossing up I'm going to choose the condition price crossing up 20 EMA and press and press OK and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to color this one blue And so now what happens is, as you can see, let me tighten up the chart so you can see a little bit better here. So when price is crossing up the 20 EMA, we get this blue. And when price is crossing down the 20 EMA, we get that yellow. So if that's one of your indicators, of course, is that let's say that you want to stay in this Euro US dollar short as long as price stays below the 20 EMA. So after you've got in here, when it broke down that particular Friday evening, and you've got price staying below that 20 EMA that whole time then you can just not worry about it and it just you don't get a cross up tentative cross up until back down in here which is a pretty good size move right so the reason that's a pretty simple explanation of just one way to plot these so don't worry there's more you know there's more excitement to come um, but one of the things that you can do is that once you do that I can just simply take away that line now and I can just have the colors on my chart which simplifies things now it doesn't seem like that much of a big deal right now but if you have let's say seven or eight indicators in your chart and then suddenly you're able to sweep them clean and just look at the price colors then I think you might see that it could help you I can scale it up to a daily chart if I want to because what I've done is I've created that condition that's relative to the time frame that I'm trading. So that's the conditional colored candle. That's how you set them up. So that's a simple setup of the conditional colored candles. Now we're going to get in a little bit more involved and show you how to layer things because based on that just a single color popping out it's a little bit interesting but not real interesting right. So we're going to go ahead and dig a little bit deeper but here's the whole idea. If my whole strategy is baked into the color of the candles then that strategy will either produce a profit for me or it won't assuming I follow the colors strictly and do not debate them. 
Uh, by doing this, we gain more focus on a simple rule-based strategy that is baked into my conditional colored candles. The discipline of trading, therefore, becomes easier because less is required of us. And this is kind of like the backbone of all automated trading, is to produce a rule-based trading situation that produces the high probability trade execution. So we're kind of doing that on a manual way. We're taking our strategy, we're baking it into the colors of the candles, and then we just have to have the discipline to follow the color rather than having to analyze seven or eight different indicators. All right. So more to come in the second video. Just wanted to go ahead and get this first one out there and get you started. If you haven't downloaded the TC2000 software, go ahead and do the free trial for that and get you a $25 coupon in case you do sign up. And I'll see you in the next video. The other thing uh, I forgot to mention is you always want to save your work in TC2000. So go ahead and go to the bottom and click the tab that you're in and save that layout. You can also rename it if you want to rename it. But just be sure you save that layout in case Warden uh, doesn't update overnight and you might lose your work in that case. The other thing you want to do is go back to the top left under File and you'll see under file where it says workspaces save your workspace which are all of your windows all your chart layouts and do that every time you make any changes so you don't lose your work